of all, you look fantastic. Thank you, you look. I haven't seen you in. Uh, well, you uh, haven't been here in three years, and I don't know if I've seen you I since know. then. Isn't that crazy? I feel like I'm always here. It's because I watch you every day, so I feel like I'm always here. I see. Well, yes. I wish you were here more often. Come back yes, more often. I will. By the way, you're not supposed to clap anymore with dancing. Oh, really? Yes. My well, my boyfriend's my boyfriend said he goes, you can tell the old people in the club because they're the ones who are clapping. Wow. Yes, and I go, what are you talking? What? Yeah. Yeah. Like try on a dance floor? Yeah, you like try dancing without clapping. You're right. like, oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, I got to do it. The next and then so I ask all kids, I ask like, you know, my nieces and nephews, I go, do you clap? They go, no. Yeah. And all you guys are clapping, you old. Uh, you're all clappers. All clappers. <laughs> next commercial break, we will all try to dance without, without clapping. clapping. Yeah. We should go back to the 60s where we just snap. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that too. No that's, snap. That's what, that's what we should do. And you are now, uh, congratulations on this title. You are Woman of the Year, according to Maxim Magazine. <laughs> By the way, yeah. Save it! No, no! <laughs> By the way, That's amazing. this is like January, and I'm like, I'm Woman of the Year, and it's only January. <laughs> no, they've decided way ahead of time. This is uh, <laughs> for the whole year. Nobody can do anything that will top me. Now, now, how are you? You look fantastic, but are you comfortable posing like that? Is that something <laughs> that? Uh, no. Or, no. Let me tell you, you get. After you do a, one of these shoots where you have to suck in the whole time and then stick out, arch your back, put your, and you're like, by the end of the day, you're like, can I, can I go now? It's, this is so painful. Yeah. It's not fun. Yeah. Well, that's how I do the show the entire time. I'm sucking and sucking you know, in. It doesn't look like it, but that's what's happening Chin right now. Out, arch back. You wouldn't believe what's happening inside. Inside. <laughs> And you also, I'm really impressed with this. You got your master's degree. You went back and got your master's yeah. degree. I thought I was here since then, but I haven't been here. No. I was doing it, um, I would go, when I was shooting Desperate Housewives, I would go to night school. So I would be on the set all day, and then I'd be like in full hair and makeup, running to class. What did you get your master's in? Chicano studies, which is uh, Mexican American history. Wow. In the United States. That's really cool that you're doing that. And it then was. you just met the Dalai Lama. You're doing I very did. interesting things. I did. I've always wanted to go to one of his Have you his not events. met him? I've not met him. He and touched my face. Look at, he was, he's just pure joy. He seems that way. You can feel it's, that when you're with him it, in yes, his presence? It's, tan it's like tangible. It's in the air. And I took my mom. Um, and, and, you know, if it's not Catholic, she doesn't really know. Uh, so I was like, uh, I was like, mom, he's like the Pope of Buddhism. You had to put it, you know, and she's like, okay, so we go and this event had everybody there. It was like Naomi Watts and Jerry Rinner and everybody, Jeremy Rinner and everybody. And so uh, we met the Dalai Lama and at the uh, night we were Skyping, I think with my dad. And I was like, mom, mom, come here, tell dad who you met today. And she goes, Jim Carrey. <laughs> and she goes, Jim Carrey. And I said, mom, the Dalai Lama. And she goes, yeah, but Jim Carrey was there. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah I mean, Whatever. it was pretty exciting. But she got Jim. something out of it. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's what matters. She really likes Jim Carrey. Yeah. Um, so uh, you are in love with a businessman from Mexico, right? <laughs> and, and that is, let's talk about him, okay? Oh, oh okay. I mean, no, that's, let's okay. not. <laughs> no, he's, uh, he's super no, private. No, it's a very, I know he's private, he's but super private. I'm excited that Thank you're you. happy and in I'm love. I'm very happy. And, uh, <laughs> well, we're going to show pictures regardless. But, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's a good dresser, too. Yeah, he is. He's stylish. Very good I always have to step it up now. I'm like, ugh. It's exhausting. So do you spend mainly time here, or does, uh, or do you go there and spend time with him there? Both. Both. Yeah, I'm here and there. Does he like to travel as much as you like to travel? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, but, I'm, but actually, no. No, I just lied to you. Um, <laughs> no, because he has a job. That's a first on television. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever lied in that chair before. <laughs> no, he has a job. I'm, yeah. un I'm unemployed. But I mean, that's a, you travel a lot. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I work everywhere. I love, I love planes. I love flying. I love airports. Oh. Uh, Yes. That's weird. I know. <laughs> My friends say that too. I, will, I know restaurants in certain airports that I will go earlier to the airport because I really want to eat there. Like in Dallas, there's this barbecue place in Terminal D, the American Terminal. Um, in San Antonio, there's a Mexican restaurant where the United Airlines are. I'm really, I love airports. <laughs> I like reading. I like Wi-Fi. Wow. I get very excited. Well, good for you because, I mean, that's actually a really great, Trait. Trait to have. If you have to travel. If you have to travel. I and mean, if you love to travel, especially. I do. 